So for today, we're going to talk about the common causes of climate change. First is greenhouse gases. Human activities since the Industrial Revolution, mainly extracting and burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, has increased the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, resulting in a radiative imbalance. In 2018, the concentrations of CO2 and methane had increased by about 45% and 160% respectively since 1750. These CO2 levels are much higher than they have been at any time during the last 800,000 years, the period for which reliable data have been collected from air trapping ice cores. Less direct geological evidence indicates that CO2 values have not been this high for millions of years. Next is aerosols and clouds. Air pollution in the form of aerosols not only puts a large burden on human health, but also affects the climate on a large scale. From 1961 to 1990, a gradual reduction in the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface was observed, a phenomenon properly known as a global dimming. Typically attributed to aerosols from biofuel and fossil fuel burning. Aerosol removal by precipitation gives tropospheric aerosols an atmospheric lifetime of only about a week. While stratospheric aerosols can remain in the atmosphere for a few years, globally, aerosols have been declining since 1990, meaning that they no longer mask greenhouse gas warming as much as now. Lastly, changes of the land surface. Changing the type of vegetation in a region affects the local temperature by changing how much the sunlight gets reflected back into space. For instance, the change from a dark forest to grassland makes the surface lighter, causing it to reflect more sunlight. Deforestation can also contribute to changing temperatures by affecting the release of aerosols and other chemical compounds that influence clouds and by changing wind patterns. In tropic and temperate areas, the net effect is to produce significant warming, while at latitudes closer to the poles gain of albedo, as forest is replaced by snow cover, leads to an overall cooling effect. Globally, these effects are estimated to have led to a slight cooling dominated by an increase in surface albedo. If we want to prevent climate change, we should be smart and wise in the decisions that we make to make this world a better place. That's it for now. See you on the next vlog. Bye!